Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content in this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, all right? Uh, so today is Wednesday. You know, on Wednesdays, what we do, we give the injury report. Who's out there practicing, who's not, so we can get an idea of what's going on ahead of the Ravens game this weekend, all right? So we're going to hop right into it. As far as guys who did not practice today, Devin DuVernay, Marcus Peters, J.K. Dobbins, Calais Campbell, Pat Ricard, Mark Andrews, Morgan Moses, Ben Cleveland. Now, obviously, some big names on there, but a couple of guys were just veteran days. So these guys, I'm going to give you those guys' names right now. Marcus Peters, veteran day. Calais Campbell, veteran day. Mark Andrews, veteran day, okay? Now, J.K. Dobbins has also been getting Wednesdays off, but also we know that Harbaugh said that his knee tightened up playing uh, on Sunday at that MetLife Stadium field. So it could be either one for J.K. Dobbins. It could be knee tightness or it could just be a rest day. We'll see when the injury report kind of drops what they, what they label it last, okay? Uh, Devin Duvernay, Pat Ricard, they didn't really say anything about the injuries, about what's going on with those guys from the interviews, from what I saw. So when the injury report drops out, make sure to put in the comments what they have it listed as. It very well could just be a rest day for those guys as well. We know those are two very important players who play a lot of snaps. And, uh, you know, the Ravens probably just want to get those guys a day off. That's what it could be. If it's something different, I'll let you guys know. All right. Now, who is practicing? Gus Edwards, Tyus Bowser, David Ojabo, Charlie Kolar, Dustin Houston, and Rashad Bateman is back practicing. So that's big news, okay? Also, I want to mention that Deshaun Jackson obviously had his first practice today with the Ravens as well. Um, and he's wearing number 15. So that's the number that Deshaun Jackson is going to wear for the Ravens, it looks like. That's at least what the practice jersey he had on was 15. So, so yeah, so Deshaun Jackson's out there. He's practicing, getting some work in with Lamar Jackson. And, uh, you know, he said he's blessed for the opportunity. So that's good stuff to hear, right? Now, as far as the guys who were came back, right? Gus Edwards is in the last seven days of the window to be activated. So Gus Edwards is probably going to be activated in the next couple of days, I would assume, just because the Ravens want to get him out there. Um, Tyus Bowser and David Ojabo have 14 days left. They said Tyus Bowser is closer to probably being activated than Ojabo is. All right. Uh, Kolar, he officially starts his 21-day window. So now it's three weeks for him to be activated to the active roster. And obviously, you know, having Justin Houston back is major. The Ravens defensive line actually started to click in a little bit when JPP was added. You throw Justin Houston into the mix. Now you can have a defensive line that's kind of what we thought it was going to be to start the season. Now, hopefully, I take some pressures off of guys like Adafi Owe, and he allows them to play more freely, okay? Uh, especially when it comes to the rush after the passer. The Ravens have been better in the last couple of weeks of getting after the passer. You know, Travis Jones is stepping up. Man, the BK is having a big year so far. Calais Campbell is looking like an ageless wonder, right? So the Ravens have guys that can get after the quarterback, but getting Justin Houston back is a massive, massive deal. So that's awesome, man. So um, there also was a little thing with Lamar Jackson that um, he he did he wasn't out there for the beginning of practice, but apparently that was no big deal. John Ball, John Harbaugh said he practiced the uh the he, he was a full participant in practice, so maybe he just you know forgot something in the locker room or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much the Ravens uh injury report. So you know got some guys coming back that could really help this team. Looking at Gus Edwards, we all, we saw what Ken Drake did, did with this running game. Now you throw Gus in there. Hopefully, J.K. is good. You, you know, Now that's a three-headed monster at running back. And this Ravens running game can really keep going and keep ascending because each week has kind of gotten better. So that's what you kind of want to see from this running game just to continue to take off. Uh, Rashad Bateman is probably uh, the biggest news here. We've seen that these last couple of weeks the Ravens pass game has clearly struggled. So having him back is a huge, huge deal. Um, now, hopefully, um, just because he's back practicing doesn't mean that he's an automatic to play on Sunday. I want to put that out there. It just means that, you know, he's out there, he's trying it out. So we'll see how, you know, Thursday goes. We'll see how Friday goes. And if he's, you know, participants in all of those, it's, it's a likely sign that he will practice. But we got to wait to see how the rest of the week plays out. And Deshaun Jackson said that um, while he would love to play this weekend, it's up to the coaches when he's activated. So we may see Deshaun Jackson this weekend. We may not. Uh, he said that he's in shape, said he's ready to go, which is no surprise. You know, he was a free agent. He was waiting for a call. So, of course, he's going to be ready to go and answer that at any moment. So, uh, I expect him, when the Ravens call his number, to, to be ready to suit up. Um, there's no word on, also, like Andy Isabella, who obviously is on the Ravens practice squad as well. Um, if he's going to be activated, I don't know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that he's practicing. He is, there's, there's nothing, sorry, excuse me, injury designations going on with him. So, the Ravens, uh, Rob Sebacore is taking a new shape, a different shape. Uh, but, you know, the main guys are still going to be, um, Bateman, DuVernay, 
Deshaun Jackson and Demarcus Robinson. Those are the main probably four receivers the Ravens are going to uh, trot out there. So it's up to the guys, you know, to if they can overcome the scheme and, you know, make it work. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. It's about who's out there. So the Ravens have some guys that are returning. Oh, and I mentioned Charlie Kolar. Like I said, he saw his 20-day 21 day window. He's been injured since, uh, really, since training camp with that hernia injury that he got right. So that's another tight end that, that's probably going to be added to this offense in the next coming weeks. And uh, we know how Greg Roman, <clears throat> Greg Roman loves his tight ends. So uh, we'll see what the role is for Kolar this year. I'm not sure what it is. We know likely was suspected to have a bigger role, and he and the role hasn't really been too big for him. He's only playing about 33 34% of the snaps. So um, if he's only getting that, I can't imagine Kolar is going to get anywhere near that, right? Um, but he's back out there. So... The Ravens have some guys that's going to help this team, that's going to uh, progress the team and uh, actually help them go forward, all right? Um, you know, they, did they lose three games because of the guys who were injured? I mean, that's probably not fair to say. But it's good to say that when as the season is going along, the Ravens are, are getting healthier, right? Uh, some big players are coming back, all right? And obviously, there's still some guys on IR that, 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 that they would love to have, like a Michael Pierce. Um, but, you know... Not, not how not, he's not out there. So, um, the injury report, nothing too concerning about it. Well, like I said, we'll see what they say about Duvernay and Pat Ricard. If it's anything as far as an injury, I'll put it down in the comments. If I don't put anything down there, then it, it just was a rest day for those guys. Okay. So that's the Ravens, uh, injury report for this Wednesday. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a wonderful and a beautiful and a blessed day. All right. It's your boy Gabriel. Just on the fan TV. I'm out.